Hello, I'm Catherine Renala. Welcome to Dare to Believe. I've believed in Jesus since I was a little girl, raised in a Christian home, but there was one day that changed my life forever. I was on a youth camp and everybody was lifting their hands, singing and worshipping God. I was about 12 years old and I was singing along with everybody else. But in the middle of the singing, I, I just got honest with God and I began to say to him, Lord, I believe in you, but I can't see you. I don't know you. And it's hard to sing to somebody I, I can't see and somebody I don't know. Help, I want to know you. And you know, right there in the midst of the worship, God revealed himself to me. All of a sudden, I began to know who he was. Paul talks about this experience and he prays that we would all have that same experience when he said, I pray that God would grant you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened. You know, that enlightening only comes by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to make Jesus real to you. He is the one that will cause you to be able to say, I was blind, but now I see. He's the one who will make God real to you. The Bible says that those who seek shall find. Knock and the door will be open to you. If you'll begin to ask God, just get honest with him. God likes honest prayers. If you'll get honest with him and say, Lord, I want to know you. Make yourself real to me. Help me see you. Help me know who you are. The Holy Spirit will come and he will reveal Christ to you. He wants to show you himself through his word. He wants to reveal himself to your heart. Jesus came that you could have fellowship with him. We serve a living God who wants you to know him. And if you'll reach out to him and begin to ask him to make himself real to you, he will come and he'll do for you what he did for me that day and change your life forever. I believe that as you cry out to God, he'll lead you to lift your eyes and see who he is and how good he is. Because when you understand and you know how good God is, you'll never want anything else. He came to give us life and life more abundant. And ever since that day, God has taken me on from glory to glory and strength to strength. It hasn't been an easy walk, but he has been with me through it all. And you know, when God is with you, the Bible says, if I am for you, who can be against you? And I've seen that happen all the way through my life. God is for me. He's adopted me, taken me up into his family, and he calls me his daughter. God wants you to be a part of his family. He made you, and he knows you, and he sent his son to die for you so that you could be with him forever in heaven. He came to pay the price for your sins so that you would be free to come boldly before him. Jesus wants you to know him. Cry out to him today. God bless you.